Wonderful. Um, <laughs> thank you very much for having me on. I'm joining you from Cambridgeshire in the UK. Um, I am mum to twin eight-year-old girls, one of whom is profoundly deaf, the other is typically hearing. Um, and Honor, uh, our deaf daughter, she was late diagnosed, so she was completely non-verbal at the age of three when she finally got her correct diagnosis, um, auditory neuropathy, spectrum disorder, and uh, sensory neural hearing loss pr profound. Um, so we uh, got her cochlear implants, bilateral cochlear implants, and we started immediately with auditory verbal therapy. And uh, while we were doing auditory verbal therapy, um, I noticed that there were no books that I could find that actually uh, complemented the therapy. I mean, not directly, obviously you can do auditory verbal therapy with any book, you pick it up and you use it, but um, to directly reinforce the, the ABT strategies. And of course, with the characters um, wearing and hearing technology. So I started writing books for my daughter, like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love um, it. Which uh, are well used. <laughs> Uh -huh. And um, her therapist then said to me, please, will you publish these because we'd like more kids to have access to them. So cut a long story short, I founded a niche publishing company called Avid Language, um, initially to publish my books, but now also working with other authors um, to publish books for kids with, with hearing loss. So uh, my first little book is called Ling Ling Bird Hears With His Magic Ears. Um, mm -hmm. This is a book for very early listeners, so birth to three or hearing age zero to three. Um, it uses very simple rhyme to link learning to listen sounds. Um, and right. um, it's, a, it's a lovely little book actually, but very popular. Then mm -hmm. and Ling Ling Bird features in another book, Ling Ling Bird Seen and Heard. This mm -hmm. is for slightly older kids, so six to eight if they're reading them, them reading it themselves, younger if reading with an adult. Um, in this book, the great bombastic Ling Ling Bird meets the tiny little chickadee, <laughs> and they both go on, go on an adventure of discovery, really. So chickadee gets an insight into the world of Ling Ling Bird, who's deaf and wears cochlear implants, and Ling Ling Bird learns that, you know, you can still... Um, you can be different, but you can still be friends. So um, differences don't mean you can't can't be friends. Um, yeah. yeah. So this is the, these. This is the beginning of a whole series of books uh, mm -hmm. called the Bear Buddies, um, and it's really about giving um, children who are starting school the social skills to interact in the playground, and also very simple playground language. So um, modeling how to introduce yourself or how to say, can I play or throw the ball? Very, very simple language um, because it occurred to me when my daughter started school, um, she didn't even have the language to say, can I play? And that immediately would exclude her from, from all the play situations, all the rich language environments. Um, so I wrote this book initially for her and um, it's now turned into a series and actually today, the next one oh. in the series has just been published, which is actually a tr trilogy, but I oh, won't yay. talk about that, but it's a new one. <laughs> it's a trilogy okay. for it's about losing your cochlear implant, self-advocating to get people to help you find it. Um, okay. Anyway, okay. Um, in the back of all the Bear Buddies books, we have participation pages, uh, again, based on auditory verbal therapy strategies. Um, and I actually work with Auditory Verbal UK, who were the therapists that um, taught my daughter to, to listen and then to speak. And they, they work with me to ensure that the books are, you know, in line with um, official, if you like, Auditory Verbal uh, strategies. Right. right. Um, and just quickly, because I know that you're pushed for time. This book is published by Avid Language. It's written by a teacher of the deaf. It's a real life story called A Girl Like Ananya about mm -hmm. um, an inspirational girl who wears cochlear implants. And it's really about identity. Uh, she's not defined by her deafness. Um, and again, there's a, a lovely little activity in the back all about identity. Um, and that is 
as I say, written by a teacher of the deaf. And we're going to be doing more of this, getting other people, uh, both professionals and parents, in to write books mm -hmm. for our amazing one. children. Right. <laughs> you've, you've got the book there. So if anybody wants to get it, they can get it through um, your company. Right. right, exactly. We are thrilled to be able to have all four of those books you just mentioned. So right. you can, anybody gonna, can find them. The other one too that you just published. <laughs> yeah, the new one. Yeah, the trilogy. Yeah, that's three and one. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Okay, Anya, thank you so much for visiting us uh, with us today. I know it's later there for you, so uh, we really appreciate your your. Um, Books. Well, thank you. Too. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you for joining us.